This tutorial will show you to make a cursor for your operating system. Um, the first thing we want to do, see how um the current is, you know how like a current in your little operating system is just an, um, let me go ahead and compile our operating system real quick. Now let's run our little code. Let's start. Whoops. Started the wrong operating system. Close it out. See how the default's like an underscore? Well, we're going to change it to a full box, so it's going to take up a whole space. This is just so it looks more like a cursor, and we're also going to move our, make it where we move our cursor with the arrow keys, because controlling with your mouse is not like something we're ever going to really go deep into. Um, at least I think. So mov a h zero. What was it? Zero. One mov cx zero seven h and ten h. Compile this. Run our command and let's see if it works. See now it's a full box instead of a an arrow key. Um, let's close that out. I'm gonna go ahead and change my color up real quick. See how my color here is eight zero, and then up here is one seven. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to eight. This one to eight seven, just so our cursor doesn't like appear dark like that. So now we're going to create a label. Um, I'm going to just name it Mouser like this, and this is going. We don't need our jump dollar sign. This is going to be an endless loop in itself. Um, this is going to let you control your cursor with the WASD keys. W A S D. Now, remember here's int ten. This all works. But uh, um, load up the A S D I I. Now, first thing we're going to do is define VL is zero and CL is zero. Remember the function zero two with the interrupt ten that you can use to position your cursor. Well, we're going to position and how DL registers kind of like the X and DH is like the Y. Well, we're going to move BL into the X and CL to the Y. So this is kind of like the. This is kind of like going to become the X coordinate of your cursor, and this is going to be like the Y. So the first thing we're going to say is mov zero H zero two H mov DL BL mov DH CL int ten H. That will position your cursor at BL and CL, which is say zero zero. Now we're going to get user key press. We're going to get user key press not with the 21 int because that doesn't work. We're going to get it with int 16, which I showed you in a tutorial a while ago. Int 16. I also showed you a page on that. You can read up about it. But 00 is the main one. It's just it's um, 00 with int 16 is the same thing as this. Whoops. See. It's the same as 0, 8 within 21. We just use 16 and 0, 0 because 21s don't work. Now remember, it sends the key you type into AL. So we're going to compare AL with, let's start with the W key, which a lowercase w is 77, 77. And if it's equal to that, jump to up. Um, and... And we're also going to have a down and a left and a right. Now, down would be the S key, which is 73. Um, 
one. Then A, which is your six, which is sixty-one, which is your left key. Sixty-one, and now right, which is your D key. That's sixty-four. And so what this will do, it will scan for the key you press. When you press the key, if it's seventy-seven, it's going to go to up. If it's 76, it's going to go to down, left, right. Now, if it's none of those, we're just going to jump back to mouser. Now, let's go to up. Remember how I said BL is kind of like your X now, CL is like your Y? Well, to go up, you're going to add to CL1. Now, jump back to our mouser loop. Now, let's copy this a few times. Down left right now to go down we're going to subtract one from CL to go to left we're going to subtract one from BL because that's like our X and to go right we're going to add, add one to BL now let's compile this code run our little command and let's see if it works And as you can see, which it's acting kind of funny because I messed up a few cursors. Um, let's reset this and figure out what I messed up. Machine reset. See, a D moves it this way, A moves it this way. But what I got wrong is. I got W and S mixed up. One. Let me fix that. Let me see. Change this to down. Change this one to up. Run our command. Now, There's two things about this I want to say and I want to show you before I end this tutorial. First, it looks kind of ugly your cursor starting in the top corner. See, one, this is zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to make our cursor start here at five, five. And we also got to fix it where you can't go off the side of the screen. See, if you go off the side of the screen, it starts messing things up. And also this side, when you go off that side of the screen, it warps you back. And see so if you go out the top, it's going to mess everything up. Same with the bottom. So, um, remember it's 80 in width. So we're going to say we're going to go to left, and we're before we subtract one from BL, we're going to compare BL to 0H. And if it's equal to 0H, let's jump back to mouser. So this is going to prevent it from going left if our x is already at zero and right we want to compare bl with 79 and if it's equal prevent it from going right and now up same thing except we're going to compare cl with zero that'll prevent it from going up now about down we gotta check down real quick because I don't remember how far down your the height of your operating system. But as you can see, still. Whoops. Um. I messed something up. But anyway, see, you can't go that way. You can't, or you can go that way. Um, see what I messed up. If Z, if it's, oh, if I, I hit up and up. Oh, here's my problem. Up makes me go down. Why is it like this? Up shouldn't make me go down. That's what I made. That's kind of a strange mistake. For some reason I have where up makes me go down. 
So there. Now let I gotta fix these again. Because that's why it was wrong, because I had up making you go down and down making you go up. Now whoops, I forgot to run our little command. Forget to run the command, it'll just show your previous compilation. Run the command. Debug our operating system. And there. See, I can't go out this side of the screen. I can't go up out of the screen. Um, apparently, I can. Oh, oh, let me show you something real quick. See, I can go that far. You know what my problem was? If you caught this, you're smart. I said 79 hex. 79 hex isn't equal to 79. So I'm going to put that 79 decimal. And remember how I said it's ugly? It starts in the top corner. So I'm going to go ahead and change our starting values to 5 and 5. Now let's run our operating system. Now look, your cursor kind of starts right here. You can't go out this side of the screen. can't go out this side. can't go out this side. Now look. Um, Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. So it looks like it's about 24 characters. So for up or for down, let's say compare CL 23 decimal jump equals mouser. Run this. Now it should. I guess it shouldn't have been 23. It should have actually been 24 decimal. Um. Now, if you want to click, just create another one called click another label. And what you want to do, you want to. Go up here, and you're actually going to compare AL with 20H. 20H is your space bar, the space key. And if it's equal, go to click. So you can make kind of like your space key for clicking. Let's just say if you click, we're going to write. We're just going to write the 7 key where you click. Don't ask why we would do that. But it's, this is just an example. You can compare AL to DL and or AL and C or BL and CL to get your the location you're clicking, so you can actually check for clicking buttons and stuff, like how it was on my operating system. So let's run this. As you can see, I can control when I press the space bar. Wait, what? W keys? Oh, because I didn't have to find the key, so AL is already W. Whoops. So, um, so now it's just going to write a W key wherever I press the space bar. So that this is how you can make a little cursor in your operating system. And you can go around clicking things and stuff like that. We'll do more in our operating system in the next tutorial. This is probably the longest tutorial there was. And that's it for this one.